let's get into it. After being a matchmaker for 15 years, I've written books and I've done coaching for a lot of you ladies trying to keep you on track. Here's some common mistakes that I see women make when they start dating wealthy men. Okay, listen up. In no particular order. Um, number one, I see a lot of women, they go all in way too soon. They get way too excited. They, uh, they put all their eggs in one basket because they're excited about this wealthy guy. But you cannot do that. You can't go all in too soon, all right? So you've got to go at a regular pace. Even if he wants to speed it along, you've got to go at a slow, normal, natural pace. Okay, hang on. There's number two. Number two, they often just ditch their friends because they've gone all in with this guy and they think it's the end all be all. He's it. He's it. Your ship finally came in. You don't have time for your friends. It's a huge mistake. Don't abandon your friends, ladies. They will be there when you need them and you will need them. All right. Hang on. I've got a couple more for you. Number three. Um, several of my men have dated women and they break up with them because they say to me, Gina, she was just so jealous and so possessive so quickly. In fact, when I took her out to some of my regular restaurants that I go to and I know everybody there, she was really mean to people when they came up and tried to talk to me because she was jealous. Ladies, you cannot be jealous. You've got to play it cool. You have to play it cool. All right. Hang on. There's more. Now, you know, I had to throw this one in, number four, which is you expect, because he's got a lot of money, you expect things too soon, too soon, too soon, okay? You expect these lavish gifts to be coming in, and if they're not, you, hmm, wonder about him. Don't. Play it cool. Don't expect gifts so soon, all right? Be normal. Chill out. Hang on. I got one last one for you. Hang on. Gosh, this was probably one of the most egregious things uh, that I've ever seen in my matchmaking business. And actually my client broke up with her because of it. Um, she completely sidelined her kids for him. And one of the big things he liked about her in the beginning was that she had kids and she was a great mom. But as soon as he came in the picture, all of a sudden those kids were off with her mother so that she could make herself completely available around his schedule to travel or do anything. And while that might have been fun for him for a minute, when he started noticing a pattern that she was like rarely with her kids and she would easily shovel her kids off to her mom's house at any whim just to be available, it was a turnoff for him. So don't do that. Don't become anybody you're not. Be you. And if it works out, awesome. If it doesn't, if you got him, you'll get somebody else. Okay? I hope it helps.